know you waiting, but the food ain't good in front of the cook. So started doubting, but you know it's going in the books. Hey, hey, I know you fucking with the shit. Hey, hey, I know you fucking with the click. True thing, dude. Like honestly, that's the thing I kind of this past since May. That's the thing I, I I didn't know mattered so much and stuck to me now. It's the following through. Following through. That's the right. Like following through, man. Because like we're so used to working shitty nine to five jobs sometimes that like following through is like corny. Yeah. Corny, and you just don't want to because it's like the fuck. I, I don't want to go to work. On time all the time. Like, fuck you. Like, yeah. I'm tired. I'm annoyed. Like, no. But we need scheduling. But like, you, it's, you need scheduling once you put it in your mind. So, like, I work, like, my, my biggest, aside from the military, my, my second biggest, like, um, career was retail and sales. Yeah. I hated it until, until I figured out what good scheduling and appointments are. So like if I'm selling cell phones and I set up an appointment, we're recording right now, by the way. Yeah. And um, I set up an appointment for someone to come through and like buy a cell phone that's guaranteed money. So you, what you would do is you would plan your week accordingly. So you get your schedule. All right. I'm coming in Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from two to seven. That's five hours. That's not a lot. At minimum wage, you're looking at 12 bucks, right? right. So let's say... 12 times 5, 60 times 5 days. You're only making $300 hourly, right. which ain't really shit. Now, for every cell phone you sell, you'll make 40 bucks, right? So let's say I set up an appointment for a family of four each time I'm there um, twice, right. during the, twi twice a day. So that's eight different cell phones I'm selling every day, right? right? So eight times and with with uh one of the last jobs i got i think of like 40 bucks per phone that you sell so on one day i made 320 right. times that plus five i can make 1600 on that one week bam that's where the appointment sales come from and right. it's just you're only working to you're, you're you're setting up the appointment so you can make money right so you're not going into work to clock in like anyone who's ever worked retail or even someone who wants to do this if you want to make this your business, you can't look at it as you're ever clocking in or clocking out. You know what I mean? It can't be a clocking mentality. Oh, it has to be a, a hustle mentality. Because if you wanted to work an hourly job, you should go get an hourly job. Um, I sell my beats from 30 up to $300 right. a beat. So if I have over 150 beats on my store then I should, in theory, have $45,000 ready to have, ready to collect right. on my store. If we're looking at it as just monetary exclusives. Now, what you don't have is that you also have leases. So $150, and let's say I lease all of those for $40, right? That's $6,000. I can, I can lease multiple beats as many times as I, as I want. So let's say out of those 150 70 of them 70 of them get um, multiple leases. So we're at 6,000, right? So 70, we'll say that I sold them uh, two times over. Plus 6,000. So on the leases alone, I can make $11,000. Right. Now, that's not, giving a, that's not giving away any of my royalties neither. So let's say out of those... Because then I would have sold those same 150 beats, 70, 70, 240. It would have came out to 200, 290 times. Right. That means 290 people have my 150 beats, right? In theory. Right. So out of those 290 people, the odds are, let's say in, you know, what, what, what would you put it as lottery ticket wise? Right. Let's say one of those 290 people. Actually ends up hitting. Oh no! Be one divided by two ninety point zero zero three. I think that's like a, that's the percentage of that actually hitting. hitting yeah. But let's say one of them actually hits. Yeah. Um, 
and it turns into we're not even gonna say little Nas X. We're gonna say um Eddie Zuko. Okay. We'll say Eddie Zuko. Eddie Zuko gets a track. Um I don't know where his music is trending at, but um if I'm pretty sure if he put it on his uh IG or whatever, the Spotify thing, probably like 300,000, maybe 3 million streams and stuff like that. And let's say Spotify pays you um, 0.003 uh, cents per stream or whatever. Out of its 3 million, it's probably $3,000. Probably $3, Split that two ways, it's probably going to be $1,500 for me right. off of one person. So on top of all the resales on the leases, I'm also getting a, reoccur a reoccurring payment from my publishing with Zuko song that 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 hit right hit local not locally but hit regionally so southern western areas boom now let's say another dude in Baltimore who has a similar type of growth as like Zuko or maybe Young Manners he's kind of building himself up Local he base. uses he yeah. uses one of my beats as well too and then he has um 6 million double that and he used the exact same beat but it's still a lease. It's not. It's not a, an exclusive. So I can still do this. Yeah. Um, but then he hits me with, "I want it exclusively." So then, all right, cool. Well, let me make you a brand new beat of the same vein of the same shit. I'm gonna sell it to you exclusively. I already see that you're growing. So now it benefits me to f fidget the lines a little bit. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right, cool. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna charge you the three hundred because I see that. I can charge you three hundred right now, give you exclusive, and maybe there's like you know, I don't know, maybe maybe you can't do that, but I know that your streaming is paying out more than double of that, and it's reoccurring. All right, so how about this, man? I'll sell you my exclusive beat that I'm gonna make just for you. Make sure you throw me on the credits. Make sure you shout me out. We're gonna be friends now. Right. We're gonna be really good friends now. Yeah. Um, now we're gonna be following each other constantly. Um, your fans are gonna know me, and my fans are gonna know you. So now in the Baltimore area, where I don't have any family, even though Mexicans are everywhere, I don't have any Mexican families out there. Probably do. I don't know. Maybe they got out there. <laughs> um, but now because of this kid who has three thousand followers, and out of those three thousand followers, a thousand real followers who really fuck with his sound now fuck with me. Because you're on the track. Because. The relationship. Because I, I gave him a beat for twenty dollars, even though an exclusive, right. and I know those 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 followers are going to stream, 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 stream. So now, even though he paid me twenty dollars, I'm still getting on the back end from publishing and um and uh, publishing and, and writing credits. I'm getting still my fifty percent of the song, right? Or twenty percent, whatever he wants to do. Let's say his engineer took something that I did and completely gutted it. So now me and the engineer have to share our producer credit so now it's 50 50 so i'm getting a quarter of it i'm getting 25 percent as opposed to 50 percent but 25 percent of a big pie that's growing 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 and on top of that because now his fans are my fans the next time i drop a track that has my lyrics my beat my recording my mixing no samples meaning it's a hundred percent two times over yeah so picking up all right. My beats, my samples, two times over. I'm getting 100% of the money. Right. And the only difference that this guy did um, was he first bought a beat from me. That's it. Yeah. And he didn't try to snake it or nothing like that. And now. And it's all in theory, though, right? This is in theory, but it does right. happen. Right. It's like right now. That's your goal? That's yeah. That, that, that the that's goal? the that, that's the lottery ticket. Yeah. That's the lottery ticket. When when people are are doing this, it's like all right, you have two ways of doing it. You can. And build someone from the ground up, or you can get lucky. Yeah, you can't get lucky if you're not playing. Like it's like a lottery ticket. You know what I mean? Like people dream about what they're gonna spend their lottery money on, but they don't buy a lottery ticket. Right. Which I mean, so you're playing a game by creating these. Exactly. Beats. I'm putting out lottery tickets. There's a kid right now I just started working with. He um he hit me up. He did a song on one of my beats, um, and it's not bad. It's not bad at all. He still has a long ways to grow, but I hear something in his stuff. And I'm like, cool, I'll mix your stuff. Don't worry about it. Anyone who buys a beat that's a wave or a stem from me, I offer my mixing services to them. Okay. Because I want them to sound... Because I, I want the song that you do with me to be better than any song you've ever done before with anyone else. Okay. It's the ego in me. It's right. um, like, yeah, I may like your song, but my motherfuckers are going to love your song, the one that you do with me. Because it's going to sound better than any of your other shit. 
So it would benefit you to use me for your next project. It would benefit you to pay me to be your engineer. It would benefit you because we're, I'm going to make sure your, your fans hear you in a way they've never heard you before. And if you go backwards, they're going to they're gonna be like, oh, that, that don't sound as good as that one song you did with. Right. With Star you know I mean? Exactly. Or maybe they don't even know my name. They're just going to say, that last song was better, though. Okay, and if you and that. you as an artist is gonna know. Yeah. Well, the only difference was the homie did it, right? Like, oh yeah, cool. Okay, but my prices are set. This is what I do. I offer this. Is, this these are the way my prices are. If you can't do that, then we're gonna have to. How do you set up those prices? Um, is that just like in researching or researching, bending ears? Uh because you know, we're talking about industry prices, yeah. Industry standards. It's as of right now, You're independent. I charge, and it's it's a ridiculous number in terms of like it should probably be more, but I charge sixty dollars for a song, right? And that's like you give me all your stems, and I mix it down for you, and I shoot it to you. Right. Um, and that's just that. When I when well, I they say you shouldn't sell, you shouldn't sell yourself short, right? I sh- you shouldn't, you should. but that's, you also gotta you, start, you, you gotta all. Mm, <sighs> yeah. You don't. I don't know. I don't yeah. fucking know. I'm selling myself short right now. I yeah. know I am. You know what I mean. I know I'm probably worth a lot more. Yeah. But I need. I need more. I. I need a. There's people I used to do their songs for twenty dollars. They won't pay me sixty. Right. And I'm like, all right, cool. I don't need you then. Right. There's people. But who you want the me, work. There was pay, there was people who would pay me now for for twenty who now pay me sixty. Yeah. So my workload got less. Because before I would do like five different tracks, right. and it'd be twenty dollars, and I'd make a hundred bucks. Right. Um, now in this case, I'm doing two songs, sixty sixty, and I'm making one hundred and twenty. So I made more doing quote unquote less, but my skill has grown to where that makes sense. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna be so fucking paranoid about this shit. Dude. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep checking it, man. Like yeah, but, yeah. I've been um, looking back too. I know that's like, why I need producers. I mean, no, that, you're a producer we and you're, you pause. Go. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I need someone here. Sorry, yeah, yeah. So but, I need manners here. Yeah, just to sit down right here and look but at. That's the, what they do. I mean, that's why people the radio shows they have a whole yeah, a you know, whole people set up team like yeah because we're talking, we got fucking focus. Hey, pause, hold. Yeah, not even looking at that. Mm. It's hard. It's yeah, hard. Dude. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, dude. That that's the thing. Like you, you, you grow. So the next level right if i get too busy is i'm gonna have to up my prices okay which what ends up happening is that you may lose some of the people who thought 60 was already too much but you may also gain people who like who think 120 is a deal because they hear your mixes like oh shit no 120 is worth it you know what i mean because i know i know people who charge 300 dollars for a song that's not even recording right that's not counting recording you know what i mean and um it's just it's it's you you have to gauge it like you for where I'm at, yeah. Do you include include publishing or no? The publishing, publishing is automatically fifty percent. If yeah. if it's my production, yeah. um, it's already fifty percent on both. Right. Like I, I'm, I, why would I lose? Because you should offer that service too, though, right? The, 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 the public. Distrib- yeah, public. Like when you put it on iTunes, when you put it on Spotify. I help that. them. I help them set it up. Because like if you get the track kid. back, your upcoming artist, you're like, okay, what the fuck do I do with this now? Yeah, go hey. distro kid. Yeah, and there's people who literally don't eat like that blows their mind. Like, right. how do I do it? And it's like, come on, man! Like, it's a quick Google. Yeah. Just DistroKid, TuneCore, um, Lander. There's so many different ways to upload your music there, now. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I think even SoundCloud's starting to do it now too. You know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah, I offer that. I, I or I'll help people with that. Um, I help people with setting up their BMIs. Right. Um, it's just it's it's value. Yeah. It's value, man. I come from retail, so That's where it started to me, from. yeah, to me, it's always about adding something more than someone else can. So, right. you know, what I mean, if it means I'm gonna promo you a little bit, then I'm gonna promo you. If it means that I'm gonna, um, I want, I like, I like the song so much that like you need to put it out on iTunes and everything like that. I'll put it as Tony Slums featuring you, right? And I'll put it under mine, like you know, right? Dope. You know, what I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does. All because of scheduling. All because of scheduling yourself and being scheduling, feeling, and and I have to like it. Yeah, I have to like the shit. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's kind of yeah. yeah. Like I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at that level of selling out where it's um, I'll do anything. Like nah, man, I'm pretty uh. You like what you like. 
I like what I like. Yeah, yeah. I like what I like, and um, my shit's always been about liking what I like. Right. You know what I mean? Which isn't it isn't for like. I, I like that my friends don't like all of my shit either. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I do an album and I show it to, like, Milio and Fabi, I expect them to not like a song. I don't want them to like the whole song because I, I feel like I make statements with my music or, like, I'm saying something. And anytime you make a complete full statement, there's always going to be someone who doesn't agree with the full statement okay. or something about it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if, if if it was easily digestible and everyone liked everything I did, then what the fuck am I saying? Oh. You know what I mean? You're yeah. just saying a saying. It's like um, a broken clock is right is right once a day or twice a day. It's like, all right, fix the fucking clock. Right. And then it'll be right all times a day instead of just twice a day. Yeah. You know, like, there's these sayings that are fucking annoying, but if you say them, like, people are like, oh, yeah. That, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. All right. Yeah. You're saying something. No, man. No, <laughs> Fuck, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And a lot of the a lot of the sayings are wrong. Like, what is it? Uh, jack of all jack of all trades, master of none. Right. And a lot of people will be like, oh, you're a jack of all trades, but you're a master of none. The the full statement is jack of all trades and master of none, but better than the master of some. Okay. So it's basically saying that even and, and I love that saying because it's saying even though I'm a jack jack of all trades and I'm a master of none of them, I'm still better than most people who are masters right like there's there's an, the only one. Not the there's only an one additional there. there's always an additional what's that one uh curiosity killed the cat yeah but uh, and then what it ends with but satisfaction brought him back yeah that's the full saying okay so curiosity killed the cat but satisfaction brought him back meaning that even though he died you have to feed that curiosity because it might give you life right that's the full saying but people just like saying the, the beginning of it. The short yeah, the short end. It's the fucking first sound bites. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Yeah, man. We fucking... <laughs> shit. We're all over the place, my guys. Yeah. I don't even think we introed it. We literally went straight into a conversation. because well, we fucking broke yeah, down we, twice. we broke down. Yeah, exactly. Um, name's Tony Slums. <laughs> Omar, how's it going? Welcome to the iPodcast. Podcast. We're talking about scheduling. We're probably talking about scheduling because uh, I'm bad at fucking following through with shit. And I need to be better. I think I recorded that part. Did you get that part? Yeah, it's yeah, the beginning. Yeah, I got, I got, the, I got yeah. the Jules part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But not even just that. Like, you mean, like, I mean, not just that, what we're talking about, but also, you know, different bands hit me up, different people hit me up to, like, hey, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. You know, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, but I don't get to it. Yeah. You know, I don't get yeah, to it. Yeah. You, which I should. And at the same time, so this is where then it, it falls back on this. I think, I, I think it's because I have priorities, though. Like, I know what I need, I know what I want, I know what I got to get. If I was a band, and I hit you up like, hey, right. we should do this, I'm doing everything up until I need you. Right. Because I know you have, like, that's the thing I don't think enough people know, is that, yo, no one gives a fuck. Right. My deal is, I'm working, like, I want to work with record labels. This is an record label, you know, from San Diego, Safe Inside Records. Mm -hmm. They have some badass bands that I like. Nice. I want to get those bands on my show that I like, you know what I mean? And then promo their show, promo their, their bands, promo their, you know, albums. That's what I'm trying to get onto, you know what I mean? Then I'll, I'll get them onto the, sh onto the show from there. Yeah. You know? But I mean, then that means that, that that's the thing. It falls on you to start it. Like, right. if, if someone's going to ask you, like, hey, yo, you should put me on your thing. Right. All right, cool, man. We record every Tuesdays. Right. In the morning. So, if I'm in a band... Or I'm in, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rapper or a producer, and I want to be a part. I want to sit in on this. Then, cool. Next Tuesday morning, I'm available. Right. Yo, I can be there. Can I be there? Of course. There's a little spot right here, centered out, <laughs> open, ready for you. Tuesday morning. Right. DM us, hit us up. Yeah. And yeah, come through, sit in. Or the other thing would be just you know do something else. You or know, do something like else. I was talking but to you you do something. Like yeah. that, that's the thing about it. It's like, look, a lot of times people will just hit you up and be like, "Yo, you should do this." Right. And it's like, all right, cool, but why? Is that? Oh, because it's cool promo and like you know, it'll, like they 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 want to make it seem like yeah. Well, they say how oh, we have a record coming out in January. All right, and, you cool. know, give me this everything this, yeah. already done, <laughs> and I will promo it. Right. Or tell me where you need me. Get everything done. I don't want to do no fucking editing. I don't want to do no video. You hire the cameraman. 
you get your people in order. Right. I'm not going to I'm not going to babysit you to make you look better so that you can just be like, "Oh, I made you look better." Like don't don't piss on me and tell me it's raining. Like it's that saying and shit. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you if you want something from me, if they want something from you, right. then they should meet meet you. Like, "Hey, Omar, I have this idea." Right. Not only do I have the idea, I have the means to do it. And not only do I have the means to do it, I have the people ready to do it. Can you come through at this time and interview us? Because what you are, you're an interviewer right. and you're a producer. You're a podcast producer. You right. produce things. Right. You shouldn't be a video editor. You shouldn't be a writer unless you're getting paid for it extra. Right. Um, and you shouldn't be a babysitter. Right. You know what I mean? Like, no, you're a, you're already a, you, you're already doing what they need you to do. Right. So this writer stuff is like a side, side gigs though. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like when I'm not working, when I do when I need extra money, I'll write, you know, copyright, exactly. I'll copyright. I'll do a little, little writing gigs that I could do on freelancing or whatever, Upwork or whatever. That's the writing part of it. Yeah. So that's my side of things. That's why I write. But you're also a writer. Yeah. Also a writer. Exactly. Um, producing. Exactly. We just, you know, podcasting, producing. This is you. You yeah, produce shows. Yeah. Yeah. I talk more, right. but it's because I'm annoying and I like talk. I like the sound of my voice. Right. Damn right. Um, <laughs> no, and I like it too though, this. but like, yeah, cause I've always, I never wanted to be the host. Yeah. Like I, no, not that, but like, I've always wanted to like be behind the scenes and do the show. And I was like, yeah. okay, you feed I see, it. Yeah. Like we, we yeah, like I've submitted some shows to KPBS, you know what yeah. I mean? You know, and that was fucking tight, but they, they didn't get picked up. So I was like, okay, well, now I got to do more, do more, do more, do more. That's what I enjoy doing. You know what I mean? It's creating content. Like, hey, exactly. throwing pitches out. I got this. I got exactly. this. Exactly. But that's the yeah, thing. If, if you have the up. ideas, if you have the pitches, then it falls. And if someone's going to want to use it, yeah. KPB, KPBS is buying your idea. Yeah, and I feel like they fucking bit it off me, though. Probably did. Yeah, because this is the podcast that came out. I, and I'm just like, what the fuck? That sounds like my pitch. Probably. So I started digging in my files, looking at my, my folder, my, throwing my pitch. I'm like, what the fuck? This kind of sounds like mine. Yeah. It was about the border. Covering art walks oh, and shit. Remember I told you yeah. that? And now that this podcast came out about the same shit, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I can't go back though. I mean, maybe you know what I mean. Like, what what I do now? You know what I mean? That's in the, there's contracts and everything involved. Yeah. Because you know what I mean. I signed a lot of shit. It's been a year now. It's been a year, so now I can talk about it. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I think I might release my the promo and stuff what I did and stuff like. Hell yeah, yeah do so, it. because it's been a year. Yeah. Then the contract says you know whatever you can to talk about it. That's the whole experience too about that's signing sucks. contracts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all right, whatever. You see, I haven't but that's been, what I'm trying to get at. Is I'm trying to like. I haven't have been shit, down that. Signing contracts is bad. Oh, well, not badass. It's like, oh shit, like what am I, I getting into? Yeah, you see, I yeah. haven't been there yet. I've done a lot of handshake deals, yeah. a lot of. Pretty much, I got screwed deals. over, man. I think. Huh? I think I got screwed over. You probably did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, it's, I can guarantee you probably did. <laughs> you, it's just it. It is like you know what I mean. It's one of those things where like I think. In this realm of shit, you have to get screwed over. Yeah. Like, I know, I know. I'm. But I had fun. Yeah. I had an experience. It was fucking tight. You know you what got, I mean? You, you got an experience I, I, can't even, I can't even talk about. Yeah. I don't know what that's like. I don't know what it's like to get fucked over like that. Right. I've been fucked over, but not like that. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my, my, my realm of fuck over is uh, I paid extra for something. Right. <laughs> yeah. But then again, it wasn't like fucked over too because that goes back to... Experience. Creating. Oh, yeah, experience, experience and creating. I didn't have the right team. A lot of things on my end was not, was not a, I wasn't ready. Get that? Is that for you? Yeah, I think it's, Mil I think it's Milio. I wasn't ready for it, you know what I mean? Got you. So my guy? Oh, you guys are doing the fucking... Yeah, man, come on, sit in. You sit right there, don't worry, you're not on the film. We're just going to talk to you probably from time to time. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my dude, we're gonna talk about Andy later. <laughs> oh yeah, this weekend too. Yeah, yeah. damn. Yeah. So yeah, so that was the whole experience, like signing those contracts and. But that's the thing, uh, like, like I know. Well, now that this guy came in. Yeah. Um, there's there there is there's this level of so where I'm at right now, it's I'm working yeah. heavy and I'm trying to get to a point where, not for nothing, I want to leave it open to get fucked. Like a part of me, like try to screw me over because I, I joined the military with that mentality. Right. And I remember when I joined, this dude was like, don't join. You're going to come back. You're going to change. Yeah. You're not going to, you're going to be Everybody different. Works. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I came yeah. back double down because I went in there with the mentality of I'm going to use this. Right. Like uncle Sam can use me however they think they're going to use me, but I'm going to use you. Like I know what I want out of this. I, I don't want to pay for school and 
that was it. That was my end goal. I, I just don't want to pay for school. Right. And I had a good enough score that I I went I went to Iraq and I kicked it for like a year. I got really really lucky. I'm I'm one of the few ones. I was in Anaconda, which is I mean we get mortars, but they're like you know, boop boop. You don't really see it. You just see like fireworks and shit. Right. Um, but like okay, so you didn't like any activity activity. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. we got bombed at once. Okay. Um, little pew pews. Yeah. But I lived in Campo. It was right. scarier there. Yeah. Um, so like the, yeah like it, it, I. I'm at that level now where all the fear of joining, of getting a bag, getting a contract. Right. See, I got a bag. A lot of people. And I invested. A lot of people don't know what's happening. Doesn't know what comes with that. Yeah. Um. I don't know either. Yeah. I don't know. I, I. I. I hear. I talk to people, but I think that's why a lot of people in the industry, they don't like giving bags to people over twenty-seven, over thirty. Yeah, see, I'm is fresh. That, it's that, oh, this guy, we can't, ju- we can't easily screw him over. Right. You know what I mean? Like you can't screw them over. Like it's, it's, they, the, you're, you're a little bit more knowledgeable of it. Um, yeah, if, I don't think I executed right either, though. I didn't execute. How old were you? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. That was about two years ago. All right, bet, bet, bet. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. When I first That's still there. young, though. Yeah, like I think about I had, when I was twenty six. My, my reference was uh, the podcast. You know, I showed him what I did. This is what we're doing. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. I went to the, I went up to the management or whatever, KPBS. I went and said the, the pitch, yeah. pitch meeting, like 12, 12 heads or whatever. Dope. And then I said it there. I was like, hey, this is what I got to do. Bam, yada yada yada. Talk to them. You know, we're gonna go to the border. We're gonna interview the artists. Talk about the creatives. What's going on? Pretty much about Pearl Valley. Only focused on Chula Vista and you know yeah the border, Focus, border yeah, yeah so, the west yeah. the border town area of yeah, it. The shit was called like Seen or something like that. It was called Seen, Seen. I don't know. It's, it's that's what, yeah, that, that, that's what Young Manners over. helped me out. Young Manners helped me out with the with the logo. Really? Yeah. That's what messed you up. Seen. <laughs> I want to pick it up. Yeah. Either. No, but it was dope. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> so they just I don't know. It was dope. It was a good experience. It was a good experience, but I didn't I didn't execute it right. That was my problem. Is I did not execute as a businessman. Okay, so let's. Take it back. What would you have done different? I would have hired a fucking a dope team. I would have hired a cameraman. She goes back to a cameraman. I would have hired a whole badass team. Delegation. You know? Yeah. It was just me. It goes back to you can't do the work, you can't do the work yourself. Nah. You can. Yeah. But it, you, you can, but it doesn't benefit you. Yeah. Like you need that other ear, that other, like you just need someone who's, you need someone who's going to gas you. Yo. Good fucking job, yeah. and you need someone who's gonna they were gassing shit, me though, and you need someone who's gonna shit on you. Okay, yeah. so if you if you already have them gassing you, yeah. then you need someone who's gonna tell you that shit is corny, right? And explain why, not just hating corny like yo it sucks, right. but no actual yeah. ammo why behind it. it. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, why it sucks. It's like yo, it the sucks criticism. because it doesn't look like you. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't seem like like the person that you are to me as your friend right. because. If like this is the way I see you as my friend, and I know that other people are gonna like that side of you right. if you do this side of it, you know what I mean? So that's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, man, it was tight though. I mean, like I said, it was experience. It was yeah. experience. But I want to get back to that level. You know what I mean? I'm looking already. I'm looking at you know pitching other shit that I have like to Hollywood or um, or San Diego or like I'm ready, other dude. shit. I'll wear, I'll, I'll, you know I'll wear yeah. a straight up chrome suit and yeah. I walk in there shining. Yeah. Like, what up, baby? We're bringing back shiny suit era, huh? Shit, man. Diddy, take that, take Shut that, up, take right? that. Sign this contract. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got my yeah. MTV. Fuck yeah. You know? let's, let's go. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. You know. I'm well, trying to. I know that happened. That happened with you, kind of right, with yeah. the scoop. Hold on, 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 my guy. You gotta get on the mic with this one. Oh, no, no, no. Nah, come on. Hear me? Nah, no, they can't. <laughs> you don't have to get on camera. Yo, this is uh, Milio, aka the Gentle Schnoz. aka Big Nose Bastard, aka Freddie Merc, bitch. No, 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 no. You've been on the show before. Uh, yeah, no, I yeah. think uh, it's like the second time. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you good, you good. Yeah. So, um. <clears throat> Yeah, I had something like that. Uh, this was way back in two thousand and six. Or when did you go? When, when did you go to uh... boot camp? Two thousand six. Okay, so in two thousand six, right? Um, we started. You know, I met Abel in two thousand two. We did the whole DA shit. If you guys know, you guys know. Way back then, you know, we're not new to this. We've been doing this shit for fucking years. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, 
I got an opportunity to uh, to be under um, Kid Frost, and this was ooh fucking like I said when he when he went out to boot camp, and then I was still yeah. trying to do the, the the music shit, and I was doing it heavy at that time. I didn't have a I didn't have my son, I didn't <laughs> have my son until two thousand nine. So what I thought is that we were trying to do it heavy, and we were, but. Um, I just didn't know how to maneuver through the fucking, you know, I guess business you can say. Like, Abel was out, um, fucking. Pounds, pounds. Uh, yeah, retired. pounds, homie pounds. He was, uh, you know, finishing, getting his uh, degree and fucking becoming a teacher. And he had his girlfriend. So everybody had their own lives, basically. Yeah. And then at which, the time. Uh, which anyone who's starting up, your team will eventually leave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so be pre- be prepared for that. Hey, be prepared for that, and just you know, yeah. Don't don't hold grudges. Luckily, yeah. So around that time, you know, I was you know I was a kid, dude. Fucking two thousand six. I was fucking. Right now I'm thirty three. So at that time, shit. I don't know, like nineteen. Yeah, about nineteen. I was about nineteen years old, and um, at the time, you know, <clears throat> I was uh, you know, it was a whole group, right? So. I had, um, at the time, it was like a little mini group, which was me and Michael Gonzalez, right? That's his name? <laughs> Mike G. Well, well, Mike G. We'll, we'll keep the government out yeah, of it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, we'll so, bleep that. <laughs> yeah. So, if you guys know, you guys know who that is, too. So, he was a part of, you know, DA at that time. So, and he was younger than me. So, he was like, I was 19. He was like 16 or something like that. So, we made a little group and... uh I wanted to push because that deal that we we're going to get, I wanted to push the group. Right. So I was like, I was like, fuck that. If the group is not, not going to be a part of this shit, I'm not, I don't want to do it. But the guy at the time, which was, you know, we were, we were around the camp of, of uh, Kid Frost. We were, we were around Scoop DeVille. And this was way back then before, you know, I know Scoop was doing some things in the in the industry, but not to the fucking. Well, that was around the time Kendrick was barely coming up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cali like. Hat, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he's the one who did Poetic Justice and uh, other uh, the recipe, the recipe, right. and so. Okay. Yeah. He he. Right now he's he's fucking up there. You know he did fucking Busta Rhymes, um, featuring Eminem track. I forgot what that was called. Um, but you know you, you you get where I'm going. So at that time. You know, he was coming up, we were coming up, and, you know, how can I say, the execution of the, the deal wasn't right, because I didn't know what the fuck I was getting to, I just said, fuck it, I just wanted to sign something, because it was going to be, you know, that was my dream, right. yeah, that was my dream, and I said, fuck it, if I get fucked, I get fucked, whatever, it's a, it's a lesson learned, and also at the same time, they, they, they weren't really uh, putting all their attention on us, like the, the label... Um, uh, we were about to sign, or I think we did sign. No, no, we were about to sign. And um, at that time, the label was putting 100%, you know, focus on Kid Frost. You know, that's that's the biggest, that's, yeah. you know, that's their biggest, you know, <clears throat> uh, person on the label, you know. And, you know, with I, I kind of felt it a little bit more after it. Like, I fucking, I was hurt, you know. I was, oh, bro, I was fucking hurt because that's, that's what I've been fucking dreaming of for years, you know. Yes, you can't do shit about it. Yeah, yeah. You, you, can't do, you can't do nothing about it. So I, I went through this whole fucking phase of fuck this, fuck the labels, fuck everybody, you know, you know. And then, you know, I did my fucking Battle Within series and, you know, I kind of let it out a little bit more in there. So, but yeah, it's... Um, Along the lines, eh? yeah, yeah. Along the lines of just opening yourself up. Yeah, and and to people who don't know, I don't really talk about that because you know for what you know I'm over it. It happened. It was a, it was an experience that will never happen again. But like how how you how you guys were saying, you know, and Ava was saying, the kids who are doing it now. And I'm talking about kids who are fucking 18, 19 years old, and you know you got to understand that. Your, your, your friends that when you start off become, I mean, that they start off as friends. If the eventually, depending on how, how your guys' lives are at the time, you know, they can become your family, which, you know, 
Luckily. I've been, you know, me and Abel have been rocking with each other for 16 fucking years. God damn, that's long. Yeah, Fuck. yeah, 16, 16 years, and you know, he's he's dude, he's he's my brother, you know, like he he brought me into his family. Yeah, 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 and he brought us together. But even though, besides all the fucking music shit, we still fucking we still fuck with each other, you know. Yeah, like uh, it's not it's. You know, we I, dude, there was like fucking three times I came here, I think, uh, the, the last month or whatever. I didn't even record. I, yeah, I was just yeah. kicking it, yeah. No, he's now, now Emilio's became more of a, like, he's he's growing back up at the sound and stuff like that and building it up. Because the Battle Within series was a dark period. And it's it was long. It was a breakup. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. A, it was a, a breakup for him. Yeah. No. Nah. No, 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 no. It was just. Yeah, what, what I was what I was going through, and uh, you know, that was at the time where you know, it's like, it's like bagging the girl you always wanted, and she gave you herpes. Right. <laughs> like it's it's you know what I mean. It's like I've always wanted this, I've always wanted that, and you got burned from it. It's like it's gonna it's gonna last. Yeah, it's gonna stick. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I never had that. I never had the issue, and that's why when I came back from boot camp and everything like that, and I remember them telling me the story. I'm like, bro, like I felt bad because I'm like. I should have been here. Yeah, yeah. If I'd have been here, it would have been different. I know yeah. I, I would have I would have been able to be by your side. I would have been able to like to explain this stuff more. Um, but I wouldn't have been where I'm at now if I hadn't left. Yeah. Like yeah. my style of spitting, my yeah. my production wise, my mentality of mm-hmm. it. Um, because you learn something being away from home. You being away from where your your comfort area is, the shit that I learned the most is that everyone's figuring it out. Oh yeah, bro. And trust me, <laughs> trust me, like I'm glad I went through that. You know, I wish I would have, you know, had a better guidance. You know what I mean? And like I said, Abel was the main Abel and fucking Pounds, Pounds. the main driving force to to this whole machine that's going on right now. And <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and then now, I mean, I, when I did the the, the battle within series, I mean, you guys, guys who got, if you guys don't know, do your homework. You know, <laughs> I'm not new to this. You know, whoever knows knows. Whoever doesn't needs to know, or they don't need to know. I really don't give a shit. It's just, you know, we that that just fueled the fucking the music even more. You know, I I I. I I did those two albums to let everything off my chest. Not only that, but you know, I had relationship problems at that time. I was a, I was, I just became, yeah, yeah, I just became a father. Or at that time when I did that, I was, you know, my son was like four years old or three years old. Now he's ten. So you know, you know, it's it's a it's a lesson learned, and at the end of the day, <clears throat> honestly, no. I feel that at this time in my life, you know, we don't have, we don't need a fucking contract. I mean, I, nah, I mean, you really don't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I mean, the 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 social media, you know, it's out there. We, every, anybody can get fucking rich off of it. Anybody can do that. And yeah, yeah, and you can be the one writing your own contracts or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and and the fucking pace that we're going now is fucking amazing you know like we got people you know um i guess you can say um the way that we should have executed it back then when he was gone is the way that it's happening now even though it, it it's been fucking shit over no not over 10 years or close to 10 years where if we would have still kept the momentum going back then then oh it, it would have been a guarantee that either one of us would have got signed and we would have fucking, you know, made a bigger fucking... Um, I'm glad we did it. Yeah. Yeah, like... Like, I'm really glad we did it. <clears throat> but... Um, the only reason why I say that is um, around that time, 2006, 2007, that was the beginning of the... That was the beginning it's of the up. what? The mixtape era? Mm-hmm. Um, and... There it is. <laughs> right now, what's going on? It's this new renaissance of a lot of freedom. You good? You good? You good? Thank, you. thank you for that, my guy. Yeah. Good for you. Um, I don't know that. Yeah, I, I think that, I think no, back. Man. I think about 
like, cause I think about it a lot. That shit's like one of those things, and it's not like um, dwelling on it. It's just um, I love history. I love n- learning about it, and like you know, how are we gonna like how how did we get here? Um, what brought us here? And I think now as to what's going on, I never got screwed over. Right. Falling back on it, I always wanted. I, I it's weird. I always kind of wanted to. I wanted like I'm 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 that type of person who's like. Yo, don't put a fork inside the outlet. I'm like, why not? Like, he's gonna electrocute you. Fuck you. Bang. Yeah. And we're we're, we're method rappers. <laughs> we we get into the shits. Yeah. Um. So I, think I wanted to screw over too. I did want to. Yeah. I was like, all right, it's fuck it. it. Whatever it, happens, there, happens. A, I was in my head. I was like, I'm gonna fucking do it. There's whatever a level happens, of freedom happens. in that. There's yeah. a level of freedom of. Oh, that's what it is. Nothing to lose. Oh, I have yeah. To lose, is that, oh, th- this is this is the gen- this is what getting screwed over is. Right. That's not that bad. I could live. Like when I hit my rock, rock bottom and I was broke as shit and I had nothing in my name and I was in debt. I owed more than I had. I was like, oh, I can bounce back. Once you kind of see how you can bounce back from shit, it's like you like you do get a lot of freedom in terms of like, oh, I can't wait till I'm back at rock bottom again. I'm a platform off that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just. With every closed door, what? You fucking break down a wall. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you know, that, whatever closed door you open up, a, a yeah, window opens. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but that yeah. that happened. You know what I mean? Like I say, I always kept this in my mind with that. But I, I I I say whatever rejection, there's another connection. Yeah. You know, that's the way I. Look yeah. At it. With every rejection, right. there is even a connection. With jobs and shit, yeah, right? Even with, yeah. with anything in life, if you want to look at it that way, that's what it is. People people will remember you from the L's you take and how you take them. Like if someone if someone tells you no and you get mad at it and you're like nah fuck you you're a piece of shit da 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 they're gonna remember that but if someone tells you no and you're like all right cool man bet um I'm gonna shoot you some more beats or I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm keep working with you or let me know if there's anything else that's available or you know like I'll be like oh okay this didn't phase the dude cool I'm gonna keep him I'm gonna keep him in mind for the next thing that I know there's gonna be a risk and I don't want to deal with someone who's gonna cry if we lose. Right. I'm a, I, w- I want this person who's already ready to lose and it's not phasing him because that's someone who's going to work. That's someone who's going to come back hungrier, heavy. Like, it's just, you, you, you see that in it. You know what I mean? And like, that's that. And trust me, we took in plenty of L's <laughs> and some L's more than others, but that's because, you know, <laughs> we didn't want to learn at the time. <laughs> nah, that's true. There's a lot of shit we probably should have learned. Yeah. But no, that that's that is one of those things, man. Like it's it's crazy. But you you guys apply it to what you're doing now. Oh, yeah. you know that's the fucking now thing yes, you now yes, yeah. That's why like I look um I look at slim paths manners. The new generation. Like I'm yeah. like oh y'all Where, motherfuckers are so yeah, like right. y'all motherfuckers are so lucky. Right. So spoiled to say it, you motherfuckers are spoiled. Because we didn't nah. have YouTube. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have no. We didn't have YouTube. They, I didn't have me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I didn't have oh, okay. I didn't have this. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, we had, uh, like, Pounds, again, Pounds didn't have what we had in Pounds. Like, LBS, our sensei, was a dude who was on our ass. Like, there's a work ethic that so came from Pounds that. So, Pounds is like our Tony Slums, too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Tony Slums yeah I learned Slums. everything yeah. from him. I learned my work ethic. I learned my perfectionism from him, as well as my fuck it. Like we we he put out an album, the product of failing elements, and the reason why it was that was everything was always falling apart on us. So we were this product of failing elements, meaning that the microphone stand was wonky. Or one time we didn't have speaker cables, but we had mic cables, and he cut them, split them, and made them into speaker cables. Like the kids, the kids ever ever recorded off of those what were those little fucking the clip on mics? Yeah, the little clip on mics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, we, we recorded off of that. We, we did a full album on that. Yeah. Trust me. I believe I have pictures or, or video. Probably. Yeah. 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 No, that was that was Fleming. That was my old. I was still in high school. This was this is the range affiliates era. Yeah, the range affiliates, polar opposites. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's us. So like, that, that's the person who. That's the dude who taught me the work ethic of it, man. Like it, it, it wouldn't, like. It's like, I remember how we were talking about chefs and stuff like that, man. There's this lineage of, of chefs where it's like, um, this person learned from this person and because that person learned from that person. If this person learns from that person, they're learning from that person. There's this da-da-da-da-da. Slim, Paz, Manners. Um, 
even Fabi, G, anyone who didn't work with Pounds, if they meet him and they're in a session with him, it would have been like they started up with him from the beginning because every the way I, I record, the way I work, it's because of him and the way he taught me. So it's, oh, yes, like, no, we're not going to do punch-ins. You're going to go through the whole thing. Who cares if you went through the whole thing? It doesn't sound good. You're going to redo that shit. We're all going to sit here and we're going to shit on your verse on that little one bar that you keep saying off until you get it right or until you leave. Either one of the two. And we're all going to join in on it. And it's happened before. We're like, literally all four of us are like, this, like, we're just, this is how you hit it. Don't hit it like that. Hit it like this. Don't hit it like that. Hit it like this. Right. Don't hit it like And just oh, start playing. Nope. Nope. Cut it off. Cut it off. You ever go like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. You, oh, people. Yeah. Are, yeah. Like, I, I'll literally, I'll export it. I'll export it and I'll send it to them. And I'm like, hey, yo, take it home. Write. Yeah. Write, record it. Hate yourself. You need to hate yourself more. That confidence you came in here with, yeah. it's, 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 it's misplaced. And, that, and that's why, you know, like, we, we've instilled, right? Is that how you say it? Yeah, instilled. We've, we've instilled um, that into whoever's fucking with them in the camp. Where it's like, you have that fucking mentality. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, in general, and everybody has that fucking mentality. But, but Everyone does have the fucking mentality. Yeah. But you might as well just take it out the out the know, stand and just bad. let this dude hold it. <laughs> yeah, he went, he went from I don't want to be in it to, to yeah, caete. Yeah, because I, I I forgot that it was Tuesday and I was like, oh shit, they they're, they're filming the podcast. Well, the best story. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, oh, we could talk. Yeah. We could talk for hours. Yeah. Man. We've done that. Yeah. it's fun. Yeah, but, but 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 it was that it was one of those things where it was like really like we really really care about the craft that we're doing, you know, from even back then till now. I mean, that's why when you know I call them able guys because you know <clears throat> I call them by his government. <laughs> <laughs> matters so, is the same. <laughs> yeah, matters still called them able. So um, you know, it's just it's, or pop yeah, shot. Yeah. So it, it's it's one of those things where it's like. We want the people around us that are fucking with us, that are, I guess you can say, in the label. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I want fucking, yeah. the, the, the people around the, our, our camp and that's fucking with us to fucking, we want them to level up, you know? If they come in garbage, you know, I want I want to be at least you know a mentor if you want to look at me that way. If you don't want to tell me shit, then don't 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 tell don't tell me shit, you know. But I'm also not gonna hold my tongue and be like, nah, dude, that 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 shit was uh, that shit was dope, but it really wasn't, you know. Like I said, I'm the nice I'm the nicer one, you know. Abel's the fucking dickhead. Thanks. He's the ass, <laughs> you know. And but not not in a sense where he's just trying to shit on you, just to shit on you, he's just trying to make you better. You know, and that's the thing. That's that's something that we learn earlier on, yeah. er, early on, early on. Bro, we was kids, and we if you messed up your verse, you would have to take a shot of tequila. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. 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 Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's just that was yeah. just the reason to keep drinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and trust me, like, who, who's the person that got it the worst? It was Abel. Yeah, I was it, trash, dude. I st I I still think I suck. But like I was, I, I was off, man. I I couldn't. I the only time I was on beat was when I was freestyling. But my written was like I wrote in paragraph form. There was no bars. I didn't know what. I knew how to count bars because I knew how to stop my freestyle. But I was, I was my my beats like I can't listen to none of my old shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of overcompensating and stuff like that. And a lot of just constantly me busting my own head for it. You yeah. Know what I mean? And and you know, with that being said, it's. Anybody who fucks with us or, you know, who's... I'm just saying the people within our camp, they know. They, they've they been through that. They're going through that still. I'm still going through it. He's still going through it. It's yeah. like there's somebody that's always still better than you that's still going to tell you, you know what? Fucking, yeah. that, wasn't, that wasn't good. That wasn't right. And then it's all on you as the person to be like, you know what? Fuck that. I've been doing this shit for 16 years. Well, goddamn, you've been doing it for 16 years and you still, you still there? You still yeah, suck or whatever it is? Suck. Like maybe, uh, you know, UPS is hiring. Yeah, yeah, UPS <laughs> is hiring. You know, maybe it's not for you. You know, but <clears throat> I mean, even going back to that question, would I, would, would I fucking, you know, take a contract? You know, no, because I see this more as a 
hobby and therapy as of now than instead of me trying to take it serious. But don't get me wrong. If we do stumble upon a fucking bag, as the kids say it nowadays, <laughs> then of course, fuck yeah, I'm not going to say no to money. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's helping me out, obviously. And ultimately my son, because that's who the fuck I'm doing it for. You know, of course I'm doing it for, you know, the love of the music, but I'm the, I don't take it to heart and be like, ah, oh, fuck it, we should have did this. We, 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 we fucking took our bumps and bruises continuously. And like I said, we're like, there's method actors, we're fucking method rappers. Like we fucking, <laughs> when we talk about music or when we, what we say in our raps is real, you know, like we, we, we talk about our experiences, you know, we're, we're not gangsters. We're not, you know, we, we never deal drugs or nothing like that. And respect to the, to the, to the artists who do, you know, but, you know, we talk about, you know, our, our, the shit that we've been through, you know, like, fuck, we're broke motherfuckers at one time. And, you know, we went through, you know, it love, you know, whatever, whatever that is, you know, but ourselves. yeah, ourselves and shit. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, a battle within it was fucking just me going through bad relationship, you know, the whole thing with, you know, Frost or, you know, other friends that became fucking enemies and just, you know, it was just uh, something that I needed to express and let it out, you know what I mean? And, you know, now, you know, it was like, fuck, finally, you know, <clears throat> I'm, yeah. throw, I'm throwing the shameless plug, uh, Freddie Merc, Bohemian Raps. <laughs> I'm working on that album and that album is, is fresh. Robin. It's fresh, brand new, and uh, oh, did oh, way different mentality, way different mentality. That the sound is just like different. Oh, I mean, different to us, different. You know, you know, it's not it's not the norm that you hear right now, but still kind of you know we try to mix it up. So you know, just um, damn, I completely forgot what the point was. <laughs> so yeah, man, I yes, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but. But no, man, like that, like that, that, that's just what it is, man. Like we, 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 and this goes for anybody, man. Any artists that that are not within the camp, you know, we, we keep it cool. We fucking, you know, let them know if they want their advice. You know, <clears throat> I'm I'm not here preaching and saying, oh, this is what you got to do because I've been doing this for so long. Like, no, fuck no. Like, who the fuck am I? You know, who the fuck am I to say anything? We're yeah, we're still learning and shit. So. You know, yeah. that, that that's just what it is, you know. Thank you. <laughs> and scene. I'm saying Empty Lot, too. Like, Empty Lot, I mean, that's, it's a known name in the Valley. I fucking hope so. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't know, man. It's cool. I liked it. Right. I, I did, I thought of the Empty Lot shit when we were in the kitchen. And right. uh, cooking in the kitchen was cool, but right. it always seemed, cooking in the kitchen seemed to that moment, Empty Lots, to me, was something that was happening Within that moment, something right. that was bigger, big, bigger than just a, a location. So, like you know, the it's a it's an empty lot carnival. Yeah. Carnival, just a bunch of random people who show up to show Great everyone dance. a good time. Yeah. And every carnival is always going to be done at an empty lot. So it's kind of like yeah, like anyone can be a part of it. I'm not. It's not a fucking label. It's 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 just. Oh, is that what it means? <laughs> <laughs> After fucking five years, I don't even know what empty lot. Is. <laughs> like it's it's just. A collection of carnies, a yeah. bunch of people who just are nice and nice in their own respective. Like I, I can't do what I can't do what Slim and Paz do. I can't do what Manners does. I can't do what this guy does, um, and they can't do what I do. And it's not a, it's not an ego thing. It's not like a it's not like that. It's just yo, you just fucking can't. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't want you to. Why would I? Why do I want to hear myself in someone else? Like, nah. I, my DNA may be like some fragments of it. Like we reuse our own words. We 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 have our own like lingo. Like we 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 chop up our own ways of thinking. But at the end of the day, it's ultimate freedom. Like it's that that freedom to do what feels right at the moment. Freddie Merck, we cracked on him. Like we stay, I still cl we still clown in it from time to time. Like Freddie Merc, like why would you do a Freddie Mercury album or whatever the fuck until you start hearing it and then you're like, oh, it makes sense, right? Like you know what I mean? Like that shit makes fucking sense. Slim IPA has a fucking pentagram, like with the dude from the like little peanuts thing. Like that that album cover 
I think it made you a little bit uncomfortable right off the rip, or like so. It, yeah, yeah, it, it did. It did. Yeah, it it, 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 it it hits you a little weird, but it's like that's true to you. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's just whatever. Like I said, it. I felt like I said it the best, but this is my interpretation of uh, what the carnival is: is a band of fucking weirdos. Yeah. And like everybody sounds different. Like nobody. Like I said, nobody sounds fucking the same. And that's what's fucking. Fun. So dope, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. That's what's so dope. And if you know, you could take the shit talking. If you're not a little bitch, and and being around us, that's a big part of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very big part. And that, I mean, that's just what it is, man. Like that. That's that's all I can say, you know, for now. But I'll, I'll be chiming in it every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the reason I came here, the reason I linked up with you, because I saw what you're doing. You know what I mean? I saw what you're fucking. I see what you're doing. Yeah. That's why I was like, man, I gotta link up with Tony Slums, man. This was tight. It's fun. Kicking it. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's I mean, fun, man. Reason, I don't the like the first time I met you guys over here at the fucking. Yeah, like I have never. Or whatever, like yeah. studio. I was like, I knew these fools were like serious. Like these guys are really yeah. care about the craft or whatever. Yeah. And we just have fun. Yeah. And we have kicking fun here. It. Kicking it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like I got it from my pops. My my, right. my pops has an open door policy. Like yeah. literally anyone can show up um, and we just grill steaks, sip, talk nonsense. Yeah. I think because we all come from the same group of people halfway goes. Like you remind me of the homies yeah. from El Centro. You remember me of El Centro homies? Like yeah. you should remind me of El Centro homies. Yeah. You were like always in El Centro all the time yeah. back in the day, you know what I mean? And yeah. you all remind me of like the same group of people. There, there, there's, a, you know? there's a mentality that comes yeah. like with people who just... We we know we're lucky, right? Like just being aware that like this is this is lucky, like we're blessed, and um, and just the sense of I'm a, I'm able to create, yeah. I'm able to create. I, I some some of us use it as therapy. Some of us use it to hopefully get another bag. Um, some of us use it to feel seen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like sometimes like that's the only way you can ever feel seen. Um I I, I use it me personally, it's it's it makes sense to me. Right. Like there's a sense of control in it and a little bit. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's just it makes sense. Like for me to to not do it all out would be a disservice to what I do. Right. I like talking about it. I like, like hearing yeah, about I it. I love talking about I Like, honestly, about dude, I feel you know sorry I mean? for anyone who's watching this episode because oh, yeah, we're straight <laughs> dick riding ourselves. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? But like, at the same time, I do this yeah, yeah. for that reason. Like, I do this because I love talking about it and like, I love being a part of something that's bigger than me. Like, the, my, my number one goal for from since I don't, I can't even remember when was always to be a part of something bigger than me. This is bigger than me. That is bigger than me. Like, the, the, I, I, I don't matter. And that shit is, there's freedom in not mattering. There's right. freedom in being interchangeable. There's freedom in just being able to be yourself, leave it out there as is. And if no one fucks with it, oh well. No one fucks with it. No yeah, one fucks exactly. with it. It's totally fine. I would rather more people yeah. didn't fuck with it because I say a lot of honest shit. There's a lot shit. of more episodes focused on the artists that you guys can listen to. If you want to listen to this, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's what I think. Look, and look at all these interviews that we did before. Check out those shows. This check out is, the one with Pablo and yeah, check out the one right now. Like, exactly. Dude, again, like this is, the, the, the doors open for anyone who wants to come in and wants to dick ride themselves. If y'all want to come in here and just big yourself up and crack jokes, yo, Tuesday mornings, it's yep. really, really simple. We're not hiding away from it. We just put more worth on ourselves to drive out everywhere to stand around in a room. With I enjoy people, this drive, man. With people who don't want to yeah, talk. I do. People who don't want to talk. People who maybe don't know how to talk. Yeah. Um, it's not an interview. We're having a conversation right. about an ever-growing thing. This thing is bigger than us, man. Like that, everything right. is bigger than us. The shit that happened this past weekend is bigger than me. The shit that happened with Andy, like I don't give a fuck if he lost. The dude made history. His name will forever be in the history books. You'll never take away the first Mexican heavyweight champion coming from the Imperial Valley. You'll never be able to take that away. It doesn't matter what he does next at all. If this dude decides to go straight. Fucking dodgeball, Ron Goldberg, the dude like just doing nothing anymore. He still made history. Yeah, and that's what that's what people still don't understand, you know. And I get it, you know. <clears throat> everybody wants to win. Every everybody wants to win, and that goes back to the L's that we take. What what the fuck happened? That how come we we lost? And we know. I mean, 
and I'm, uh, you know, and I, I'm, I'm not the one to brag, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to brag because I don't, I don't, I don't tell everybody that that's that's my cousin because why? I don't need to. I don't, I don't want to feel like oh, well, you know, he's just bragging about it. Nah, dude. Like, I do it <clears throat> because, you know, I am, I am like super happy. We're as a family, we're super fucking happy for him, even though he, he took this L, but. Even though he took this L, if you want to look at his L, because it is an L in the fucking public eye. Bro, he went 12 yeah. rounds, didn't yeah. get knocked out, and Anthony yeah. Joshua kept yeah. his distance. He outboxed No, him, yeah, yeah, of course. Of there's course. fear. Yeah. If you don't want to step toe-to-toe for the last 15 seconds, yeah. there's a fear. Yeah. And whether or not he took an L, he yeah. still got a win off of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't take yeah. that away. Like, yeah. How could you? Yeah, and, that, and that's why I say, I mean, he got, he got the, you know, he lost... But we also felt it too, you know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just saying. I'm not just saying only as family. I mean, he has, he has friends. He has, he has his fans who felt it too. And you know, some of those fans. I think yeah, yeah. Yeah, Valley yeah. felt it. Yeah, they, they felt it. You know, and some people might feel salty. Some few, people really, really got hurt. Some people said, you know what, he's gonna bounce back from it, and he's gonna bounce back. Trust me. He knows. He admitted it himself. You see the interviews after. He's all like. You know, I, I I gained too much weight, blah blah blah. But even all that weight gain, he still fucking kicked ass. Still you know, went twelve rounds. He still went twelve rounds. He didn't and, get and, knocked down. Yeah, and, and 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 Joshua was running away. He was doing the Mayweather thing, whatever. He was protecting himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he boxed. Yeah, he yeah. Boxed. He did it. He he stuck to the game plan. Anytime you go into anything, you go into a game plan. It's about what game plan works out best for you. He's worked out best for him. Yeah, and I mean, trust me. I mean that that's 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 an inspiration. That's an inspiration to me, and and I'm pretty sure all around the world, not to you know even the valley, you know, especially the valley, you know, coming from here, come you know, seeing him going from from here to here, then it's you know it's it hurts, but he he's trust me, he's gonna come back harder than ever, and whoever doubted it, doubted, it. and you know it's all love, man. That like he fucking trust me. Yeah, man. It's 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 just one of those things where it's like you know what. If you want to look at it as, look at it as a big L, then that's how you're gonna fucking it's do storytelling, it. Storytelling, man. It's storytelling. You know yeah. it's coming back. Yeah. But that that's, the second fight's always rigged, though, right? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. But you know, like I said, that's my cousin. I love him. He's he's gonna bounce back on his feet, and whoever doubted, <laughs> you'll you're gonna see. <laughs> I don't know, man. A, a lot, a lot of times, people are just like focusing on negative shit. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. It's easier to, you know what I mean. But the positive aspect of it, is dude did, the dude did made history. Made history. Made That's history. history. It's yeah. the first ever. The first ever. You can't take that away. Yeah. You can, you cannot. There's nothing you can. And he worked at it. Nothing yeah. you can. Proof. Yeah. You're living proof. Yeah. He worked yeah. at yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Dude. It was overnight. It's, yeah. Yeah, man, it's, you, you just you can't take that away, man. Yeah, like it's just it's his when history, history is history. Yeah. It's already written in, and in this era, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be written out. We all know it. Right. You know what I mean? So, and we're yeah, all part man. of it. I mean, we're not part, we're all part of it, but this is part of something. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like bigger than all of us, bro. A lot of this, I, when you say that, I'm just like, fuck. I get scared. Constant history. Yeah, I get scared, but whatever, man. Like I'm following it. Discordia to me is like history being made, yeah. man. This dude went from selling his records at swap meets to now having a brick and mortar selling records now. Right. Um, so. You have the dudes at Twilight, like yeah. the dudes who are constantly throwing shows, like strangers, strangers, Ernie. strangers, Ernie. Dude, Ernie, Ernie, like you know what I mean, like, you know what like, mean? like the, all, this is constant history. Like the, I remember saying it a few years back. I'm like, look, man, ten years, the valley's gonna be the net, it's gonna be like Indio and stuff like that. It's gonna grow. It's gonna build up. Where we all have. Yeah, it's the, you have the highest unemployment rate depending when they do the census because we all work seasonal jobs. Right. You know what I mean? So that's a bullshit ass fucking number half the time. Um, but we we're all hungry. We all know what a work ethic is. We all have we all have real work ethic. Right. You know what I mean? And I know that because anytime I go to any other session outside of it, that's my biggest tool in my in my bag. It's oh my work ethic. My work ethic. You know, I'll work I'll outwork anyone. You know what I mean? And that's valley mentality. Not the, oh, there's nothing to do here. Nah, when we got something to do, we do it. You know what I mean? And if that's the way you see the valley, then I'm, so, I'm I feel sorry for you, man, because right. there's a lot to do here. You just got to do it. You know what I mean? And it's just Ernie, Twilight, um, 
even in Calexico, you have Frank Carter doing that that like the whole scene he's building up there, man. You know what I mean with Louis Daz, Louis V, Yo, yeah. and DDS. Like they're constantly building up, building up the sound and shit. Like dispensaries, that dude, dispensaries, yeah, dispensaries. Or marching ash blowing up yeah. and stuff like that, man. You have um, so the Calexico one too. Yeah, there's the Calexico Aroma? one. There's the oh, what was that one? Flower transport, the Bar- Imperial Valley Medical Connection Cannabis uh, yeah. Culture. There's one. Yeah. Oh like yeah, that yeah. That was building up to... Um, they're going hemp out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, going like... Hemp, hemp and brawl, I heard. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. There. Yeah. Like, it's just... There's... The, the, you, you can't deny what's here. Right. What's building up here. What's like... You know what I mean? Like, it's a groundswell. Like, the... the, the, the Everything's been laid out. The soil's there. We're four hours away from LA. We're two hours away from San Diego. Like we can, we can touch wherever we need to touch, and we can still come back to a place where we can relax, clear our minds, and not feel like we have to always be on. And if you want to go and do that, you can do that. Like there's so much freedom yeah. that it's like, oh, why right. would you hate on it? How could you hate on it? Get on. And you'd be stupid to hate on it. You'd right? be dumb to hate on it. You'd be dumb to hate you know what I mean? Like, like, I mean, we we all got to come together more, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, bullshit aside, we all got to come together fucking and make this shit bigger. You know, let's make oh, the valley man. bigger, There's man. There's constantly people working, man. Like, yeah. tra- you have Transformer in San Diego who still shows love to, like, down here and stuff like that. You have the boys at Trash Mob who stay working, putting out shows, doing big shows. We have the homie Chano, Money, yeah. DSMG. DSMG. Like, that dude still dropping yeah. hooks here and there, man. Really, really grinding it out. Yeah. And he's out here in Brawley chilling. Man. You know what I mean? But this dude is is a he's, savage. Yeah, he's a beast. Like, you know what I mean? Beast, like, man. Like, everybody, like, everybody's doing their, their, thing, their thing. Their thing. And I want fucking more unity, you know. You know, everybody come together and shit like that. Like, that's fucking awesome. I mean, that's what that's what everybody would want. But, you know, since we're we're such a small valley and shit, like, I feel like we can do that, like I guess quicker or how do I say even yeah, better sure. or something like that. Like I know what's the right what's the yeah yeah there you go <laughs> you know but yeah man like yeah 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 it's there it's there, it's there yeah. man you know what I mean you 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 starting to see it more people people are starting to shout each other out without feeling like it's ob- like it doesn't feel like obligation to shout people out like you have. 760 media um with uh keys keys, yeah. keys in them you know what i mean like they're they're, they're working hella with truth bringing down the these Club. artists um t-pain yeah T-Pain. t-pain they brought yg yg like they're 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 filming it they're 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 the visuals that come out of here are getting better cleaner um the music that's coming out of here is quality it's different styles um the mentality that's coming out of here, it's hard working. Yeah. Yeah, different podcasts. You got Kepasa Colexico. Kepasa Colexico, Triple Scoop right here in Brawley. Yeah. There's a few more on um, you know. Yeah. The ones it's, I know. Yeah, it's just, you know what I mean? And that's why I wanted to be more, and that's why with this one, I wanted to be more consistent because it's, I see what everyone else is doing. I'm like, what can we do different? What can, yeah, what? Because Triple Scoop were consistent too, huh? They, yeah, they I think, dropped. I think they kind of, they're, they're, they're doing interviews. That's they're, they're sticking to interviews now, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, yeah, Triple yeah, Scoop, yeah, they're sticking yeah. more with interviews. Interviews? Okay. Yeah. Before, know. they were just kicking it too, huh? They were just kicking so, it up yeah. three and now it's interviews. That's dope. Que pasa? They have interviews. Pasa, same. But it's all different content, which all is dope. All different content. You know? Because there's a lot here. Yeah. That's the thing <laughs> oh, that blows my mind. Like, why? Yeah. why how, how can you True. say there's nothing here, but then there's so much different things to talk about? Yeah. There's so much different things going on constantly, man. There's so much stuff going on, I forget about shit. Yeah. Like... It, you you it's I don't know man it's it's crazy bro like I love the valley I've been invited to move to L A I've been invited to go to San Diego I've been invited to go to the Bay and like yo just move out here you can make da 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 I'm like I don't want to I refuse to believe that I have to leave right. here in order to make it and if you want to you can I'll you fucking know? visit it's yeah. four hours away I'm going to L A on tomorrow right. I'm gonna go up there for a whole day. It's four. Hour, it's an eight-hour drive back and forth. Me and Manners are gonna drive up. We're gonna listen to music the whole time. We're gonna think of ideas for new videos, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna execute them. Right. That's a four. Execution. That's an eight-hour business trip. Yeah. Where me and him are gonna talk business and right. talk nonsense and talk shit and, and gonna, connect and, at the same time. And then when we get there, I'm gonna go work on some other stuff. Then I'm gonna come back. Like that's it's a no-brainer. Oh, let's go to San Diego. Cool. That's. An hour and a half, an hour and a back, hour and a half back. That's three hours. If I drive with someone, that's a three-hour business trip. My stomach. Just us talking. 
This is market though. I mean, like, you know, the market, that's why I moved though. Because yeah. the radio, you know what I mean? I was like, I got to go out, got to get out because I want to continue radio. Mm-hmm. So that's why I bounced. I was like, you know, if I make yeah. it out there, I want to bring the homies along though. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? I want to bring everyone along. Like, if I make it. it and, and, trying it's, to. And my mentality yeah. isn't shitting on anyone who does it neither. Yeah. Like, I got my boy Adam Lucas. Um, he's up in the Bay right now, building up, building up. Like, this is one of my mentors when I decided to start getting serious. Right. Jay Cinco, J5. Yeah, like this dude showed me what showed me how to take it seriously. Right. Like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I'm at now because he's the one who gassed me. Aside from, yo, your beats dope. Yo, you got da da da. He said you could make money off of this. And instead of just saying you could, he said this is how you make money off of it. All right, I got a question. So if I wanted to be like going to the radio station to be big boy radio to play music, local local artists or whatever. I or should I stick to this and play local artists here? I would play local artists here, and I would build a relationship with Big Boy. Okay. I would. I, the last thing I would want anyone to do is to pander my music on someone who doesn't want to hear it. Right. Because like, my, my, my shit was like, I'm trying to get out the fucking radio stations, get on the air, just so I could play the local artists. Yeah. But at the same time, I could do this here, though. You could do it here. But there's exactly. more eyes at the radio station. Exactly. So you see where I'm getting There's more eyes, there's more scrutiny, yeah. and eventually, the, 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 the beauty of it is you never want to force feed it. Right. You want it to be asked. So you play it here, you guide your radio listeners to here, and then you wait for them to be like, why aren't you playing this there? Right. And then... Still pushing out content, still and, staying relevant. Exactly. And then this once... It's the resume. What, yeah. You would say, you know what I mean? And then once you get people asking for it yeah. on the higher platform... Then you migrate it from your low platform to your high platform. Okay, see, but you don't do it. But you don't do it before you. I was forcing asked. it at KPBS. I was forcing that shit. I was trying to sell my radio show. Nah. My shit. I was trying no, to sell no, it. No, no, you know? no. First, you sell what they want. Okay. First, you sell like, all right, this is I want. I want A from you. Right. You give A, great. You shove A right up their ass, and you fucking make them love that shit. Word. And then you talk about B, or you play B, but background noise. And just keep giving them A. Keep giving them A. What else do you want? Uh, you want another A? Fuck yeah, I got you. Boom. But keep B there. Yo. Eventually what ends up happening, you end up having a conversation. A nice, loose, chill conversation. Not forcing it. Nothing forced. A nice, chill conversation. And then eventually they're going to ask because they've already invested on four A's from you. They, they, they like your work ethic. They like what you're delivering. They, they, it, it makes sense to them. Now they're invested in you. They're invested in your work ethic. They're invested in your eye, your vision. Let's find out if this dude's just here to work or does he want to create. And that's where they're going to open up the opportunity for B. Shit, I'm trying to create, man. Well, what do you think? Work or create? Because yeah, no, they, they asked me to do shit that I don't want to do. Do it. But Do it. Do it. <laughs> I know, right? Grab your fucking ankles. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> grab your fucking ankles and do it because okay. you have to. Right. You have to do yeah. it first. Yeah. Yeah. Or... Or you okay. don't. Or you don't and just know that you're taking the long way around. Right, because they know my place. They know what I want, I guess. You're taking the long way around, and you have to eventually wait until they see you in that light only as the creator. Right. And then at the same time, there's already fucking millions of people who are trying to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. They're trying to do shoving it down their throats when they don't want to hear it. Yeah, exactly. So what you want to do is you want to kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a give and take. It's a give and take. That was my biggest issue when I first started up was I never wanted to do it. Right. So I never wanted to do trap beats. Right. I hated trap beats. I hated trap beats because I didn't know trap music that I liked. Um, eventually, Adam was like, "Bro, your beats are kind of trappish." Right. And he fed me. Boom. Here you go. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Until eventually, I heard something that I never heard before. I heard trap music that I liked, and I'm like, "Oh, I can do this." Let me instead of being stubborn, holding on to my ground and being an asshole and, and talking down and being an elitist, let me, I'm, I ain't shit. Let me remind myself that I ain't shit and let me meet them halfway. All right, cool. I'm going to start doing trap beats. And then eventually I start adding boom bap into it. So I start doing boom trap beats. Now that's my sound. My sound is very boom trappy. It's 808 heavy sometimes, um, but there's a soul sample and I use snares over, um, I use dry Boom bap snares over that that clap or that snap, because that's what I love about boom bap. Um, but I wouldn't have done that if I wouldn't have at least compromised a little bit. 
compromise fully, even at sometimes. Or other times, like if I'm working with someone brand new and they're at a at a they're at a place that they can change my life. Yo, I ain't shit. Yo, consider me fucking team member one, three D, whatever it is. Like I don't care. What do you need from me? I'll be in the back. I'll, I'll be, be way here. in the yeah. fucking back, and I'll just be making sure the water is cold. Okay. Until eventually, I'm gonna have a conversation. Because if I have a conversation with you and we start talking some shit, I know a lot of shit. So whatever you want to talk about, I can have a conversation about it. You want to talk about anime? Bet. I got a little bit of things in there. You want to talk about Marvel? All day. I can do that. You want to talk about music? Let's go. You want to talk about TV? Let's go. You want to talk about books? Let's fucking go. <laughs> you you want to talk about gardening, cooking, anything. We can have a conversation. I'm willing Bud. to meet you there. I'm ready for any and all conversations yeah. because I'm going to meet you there. Word I'm going to make you... I'm going to make you thank the Lord that you met me. Yo. <laughs> and I'm going to fucking crack so many jokes. And I'm going to give you jokes. And I'm going to be like, you go ahead and tell your friends. That's that's yours. You go ahead and hold that. <laughs> Take that. Like, I didn't even say that joke. That's all. Oh, you a funny motherfucker. Bet. Run that shit. You want to yeah. talk about bikes. You want to talk about gaming. I will, I, I will have that conversation with you. Bullshitting through? All the way through. I bullshit through everything. But I also read Dude, a lot. That's business. I read a lot and I consume a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I consume a lot. Internet shit like news, like Abel, aka Tony, aka uh, Mr. Slums, Lens, all that. <clears throat> He's nasty, and, <laughs> and I'm just bigging up my boy because I mean, I, I know it, I know, I know it single handedly. You know, you know, sometimes you get some people get around them and you know they feel intimidated. Shit, I mean, why not? Why wouldn't you? This, this guy's fucking intelligent, yeah. you know, and I mean, that's just what sometimes. it is, yeah. But not yet. It means you spit game, dude. I mean, like, it goes back. It, to, it goes back to just... linking up. I mean, you spit game. You guys spit game. All you guys. I mean, I think in here. Yeah, it's you guys, fun, man. I'm learning. I feed off you guys, and I learn off you guys. But that's that's what it is. It's 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 a middle ground of kissing ass without kissing ass. Right. Like you don't want to get no shit in your nose, but you want to make sure you're kissing it. Right. Like that's it. Just, you know, little, little, right. little, little, little puckers. Yeah. That's it. Like it's just. Having a like being open to the conversation and waiting for that conversation, that's it. So if they want a, give you it mean? to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. Throwing a little bit of you in there, yeah. But not so much that it's not them, because it's their vision. This was your vision. Well, I did it to you. Yeah, but the vision part of it, you, you, you I, I did it. Point I, right there, I yeah. did it to you. Yo, Omar, you posted on vision. you posted on Twitter. Yeah. I need someone to help me out. I will interview people for you. Give me the green light. God damn, yeah. And then I started interviewing Keys. Yeah. And then on top of Keys, what did I do? I got film, and on top of that, I started doing my own little videos for you. Little 30-second right. minute clips, things that you weren't doing yet. Right. All right, cool. Bet. Boom. Hey, Omar, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out to some people. Is it cool if I interview them? Right. Yeah, bet. All right, we're going to talk about some other stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Then me and you are going to have a conversation, and then I'm gonna, we're, we're going to feed each other. You know what I mean? And I'm going to learn from you, and you're going to learn from me. And then we're going to bring some more people into it. And you're going to have full access to all of my friends. Yeah. And I'm going to have access to all of your listeners. Right. I did it to you, but it wasn't... Forced or anything. It wasn't oh, malicious. Shit. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It no, wasn't no, malicious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was... It I brought made, you along. I it saw made it. sense. I saw the vision. I was like, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and I said it. it a lot of times in yeah. between it. I'm like, yo, I'm using you, Omar. You, yeah, you just Believe <laughs> me. Yeah, anything you, just, you, you anything you need from me, yeah. use me because I'm using you. You right. are giving me a platform that I would never have. And speak you your have, mind, man. You have yeah, 105 yeah. episodes in the tank. Yeah. Out of those 105, I was only a part of maybe 20 of them. Right. Maybe. So I'm using 80 other episodes prior to me. Yeah. All that conversation. All that late episodes of trash. All before. that, bro. But you did something that no one else did. Yeah, yeah. No one else was doing podcasting. No one else was taking it serious. I remember G was telling me to do podcasting, and I brushed it off. Right. I should have done it. Right. Back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day? Yeah. yeah. When it first started, when you started it. Yeah. When, when you should. started okay. it, yeah. he was like, "You should do that." Well, I mean, we kind of did it when we did the, the, the cooking in the sixty minutes. Cooking. Yeah, the YouTube. We were talking nonsense and stuff, man. We we're doing video. Yeah. But there was no, I had no legs on it because there's a, there's a certain level, there's a certain step after this that I don't want to do. Right. That's where you take it, you edit it with the film, and you put it out on okay, YouTube. Oh, that's, that's I don't fun. like doing that yeah. shit. I like doing that. That's fun. I don't. <laughs> I like you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I like doing this. I like doing this. I like talking. Right. Yeah. I like talking nonsense. Yeah. Like, I, it's, it's fun to me. I think it's shit to talk about, man. Okay. Like, it's, it's cool to me. Like, 
I got to get it out of my head. And it's head. a trip because I like when Emilio walked in and he just started saying the backstory. And I, I felt like my old ways, like I started interviewing him, like, oh exactly. shit, this, that, this, that, like, you know? Exactly. And that's what I like, you know? But this is tight too, though. Yeah, this, this is the rent. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fucking. This is. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. This is the B. Bro. This is the B that I yeah. wanted from when we did A. <laughs> This is exact. This is what I. This is what I was waiting for. Yeah. I was waiting for the perfect opportunity where I can tell you, let's do it weekly, oh. let's have a conversation weekly because I talk too much in my head, right? And I need a day where I can talk for an hour and I can put it out and I can go back and reference it and be like, oh, we said about that this time, fuck. So now everything that we're saying, we're gonna we're gonna be held accountable by other people that we don't even know. Right. That is scary, but that's also liberating. That's also fun. Mm-hmm. Because now people are going to be like, yo, you ain't shit. You fucking lied. And it's like, ah, damn, you're right. I ain't shit. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's, 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 it's liberating. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it, there's fear in there. There's, it's fucking exciting. Yeah. Because I don't give a fuck. this nonsense that I'm talking, yeah. my girl's watching this. Yeah. And she's going to throw it back in my face. And she's going to be like, you said you were going to do this and you ain't doing it. Right. Like, oh, shit. And this this whole conversation that I just said about using people and starting off with A or B, if I ever get to a point where we're going to get a contract or something and right. someone ends up stumbling upon this and they see it, they're going to be like, this motherfucker's doing this shit to me right, right now. I mean, that's I, I feel like I <laughs> fucking contract shit. I, feel, I don't even want to say this, but you know? Like, yeah. I don't even want to say it, dude, but I feel like it's... Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. You know what I mean? Like, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, it you know? is. But yeah. that's the shit. Like... If someone stumbles upon this yeah. and they see it, because this is, I've been doing this. This right. is the way I think. It's, it's, it's work. It's, I'm going to do the job you want and then I'm going to ask for a promotion. Right. That's how you treat any and every no doubt. job. Yeah. I'm going to do the job you want and then I'm going to ask for a promotion. The promotion's for me, the job's for you. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not, I'm just putting it into words. Right. And it sounds bad when I say the word use. But it is what it is. We're using each other. We use each other's platforms. We use each other's fans. We use each other. Who's ever listening at the time? Connections. It's connections. It's connections. It's networking, you know what I mean? man. It's not bad, though. Right. It's not bad. Right. It's the way it should be, right? Yeah, yeah. man. It's not how, you know, how everybody has the same roles. We all come together. That's how it is, right? Yeah. It all revolves around people using each other. Yeah. And that sounds very bad when you hear when you when you listen to it, but when you really break it down, that's what it is. That's what it is. But a director uses actors and a screenwriter and a producer yeah. and a key grip and a camera guy yeah. and an editor. What does the director do? What does the director do? He directs, he delegates. Yeah, yeah but yeah, like that, but everybody gets their credit. Everyone gets their credit. Everybody gets their money, everybody gets, you know. It's just at the end of the day it's the way that I see it is executing the dream or whatever you're trying to do, you know, or whatever you had in your mind, fucking come making that shit come to life. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what we try to do. That's what everybody tries to do, right? No, I don't fucking do it. I'll, I'll tell you firsthand. He uses me the most. <clears throat> yeah. He doesn't do shit. I don't do nothing. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't do nothing as far as I don't know how to make beats. Don't know how to record. Don't know how to edit. Nothing. Okay, so I'm just basically the artist, which is fine with me. You know, it's fine with me Mediocre because at that. yeah, <laughs> yeah, whatever. But uh, we have fun here, guys. We have fun. Yeah. We, we have fun here. No, but it's just one of those things where it's like, <clears throat> you know how to do that. Let's put put that shit to use. Yeah. You know how to do that. Let's put that shit to use. Why why not use the tools that you know how to do, and then what. With that, you know, you're learning, you're teaching him, or he's teaching you, vice versa, whatever the fuck it is. Right. And, and at the same time, we're putting your artists on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, yeah. Stay yeah. name dropping. Shit, yeah. I know, like yeah. how we said it earlier, like people are going to hate it because it's like empty lot of shit. I'm like, right. all right, cool, man, let them hate. I'll go and tell you last. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, man. It's fine. I'm glad I leave. Let's have a conversation. Shit. Let's have a conversation. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I still try to shout out as many people as possible. Right. Outside of my camp. Like, I love Trash Mob. I love... Oh, fucking, Trash Mob, yeah. Like, Channel Money. Like, that dude is... I, I, I get inspired by that cat, man. Yeah. Because his work ethic is ridiculous. Right. Too. You know what I mean? Like, he stays working, man. And for someone who does so much, he... One, he don't get a lot of credit, oddly enough. And two, his name ain't brought up as, as, as much as it should be. Like, the dude spits. Right. He does sick-ass hooks. Um, but he's, he, I mean that, bro, he's nasty. But no credit? 
He's not getting any credit. Or he doesn't get enough credit for me. Like I don't think oh, okay. he gets enough credit. But like if he if you were to do a song with anyone, that song would be automatically better. Okay. Anything he gets on, it would he would make it better. Yeah. It would be a better hook. It would be a better sounding song. Um, it would be very musical. Like he's just really, really he has a good ear. Like I would love to hear him on some shit with Trash Mob. Um, I would love to hear him with some shit with Slim, honestly, and like that'd be a trip. You know what I mean? Some scumbag shit. Um, like it just he's he's got uh, he's got versatility. You know what I mean? But right. he's one of those person who feeds a. He knows how to get in the door. Like that dude, he's a good opener. Like he That's knows how to get into the door and shit, man. He's yeah. nasty, um, and he just doesn't get enough credit, I think. God damn. And I blame myself. I blame myself because we've done four of these episodes, and this is my first time bringing up his name, and that's bullshit. Right. Like, that's bullshit on my part because that's a homie. You know what I mean? Same with like the homie Lucas, like J Five. Like that's my, one of my mentors, and we're four episodes in, and I haven't brought them up, and that's a dick move on my part. You know what I mean? But that's or again, I hold, I hold my, I hold it to a different mentality of it. Yeah. I'm going to shout you out. I don't care if you don't shout me out. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what the podcast starts shouting out artists. I mean, that's yeah. the main reason. Ah, fuck it. I mean, bringing you guys on. Bringing everybody on. Anna Mary was here last week. That was fun, hey. man. I can't wait to do another one. Yeah, so I was too. like, hey, roll up. You know what I mean? Just bring them on. Bring them, yeah. bring, talk about the music. Talk about the arts. Yeah. Same time bullshit. Mm. I don't know. And I love the fact that so far, uh, Anna Mary's the only one who was actually like scheduled to be in. I know. But it really wasn't Everyone either. Pops in, which is dope. <laughs> popped up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Pee Wee's Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're good, dude. We're, we're, good, yeah, we're well over again. Are we? God damn, we keep going longer and longer. So many uh, fuck ups, you know. This what I mean? is like ninety minutes about a hit. Yeah. So all right, man. No, yeah. thank y'all for listening. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, shameless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Freddie Merck, Milio. Yo. Besides that, uh. We got a show at Infernos, January the 18th, 2020. Oh, yeah, Spice One. Spice One will be performing. Trash Mob will be performing. Mr. Dirty. Critical. Critical. Uh, Rozzy, all them. I, I think I forgot. I forgot a few people. But uh, anyways, go out there. We got tickets on sale right now. $15 pre-sale, $20 at the door. Hit us up. I think I got like three tickets or something. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, get at me. Um, yeah, we got fucking Freddie Merck coming out. Um, what else? Freddie Murray dropping some stuff. Manners dropping some stuff. Yeah. Slim dropping some stuff. Ill Slums dropping Ill Slums. on Saturday. Tomorrow, all over. No, on Sunday. My bad. Sunday is dropping. Saturday, we have shuffleboard and steaks. Um, but Sunday, yeah, all over, everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, all that goody good. Um, yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and you tell us who do you think is one of the most underrated artists that we need to talk about. I don't know about bringing them on, but. You know, shoot us the music, put it on the comments, put whatever links we can listen to, and then uh, we'll talk about what we heard, man. How about that? Yeah? Show some love. Peace. Yep.